Hi, today we're going to check out the um, functions of the XM Onyx satellite. And instead of having for you to go to the owner's manual and read through it, looks like it's about a hundred and some plus pages long. What we want to do is get directly to the good stuff. There are several different categories that XM has, and that's a way for you to try to find something that you would want to listen to is going to the category first, and we'll go over those categories. We will also show you how to tune a station directly into the XM satellite radio. We're going to show you how to use the preset buttons, which come in handy if you're in traffic so you can get to the station that you're looking for with just a push of one button. We're also going to look at the jump feature, which allows you to uh, go to the last station that you listen to. So you could listen to two games at the same time. So while the commercial is on, on one game, you can just quickly tune into the other game. Also, it comes in handy if you are leaving home or office so that you can listen to the local weather and traffic in your city. And then after you find out what you want to hear, uh, you can hit the jump and get right back to the station that you were listening to. Then finally, what we're going to show you is how the face of your radio appears, the colors that you can select from and the brightness. And uh, lastly, the uh, volume. If you find this video to be helpful, please hit the subscribe button right here. Thank you. The button in the upper right hand corner is the power button. Then to view the different categories, you can press the right or left hand arrows. The categories are news and politics, religion, traffic and weather, more, Canadian, pop, rock, hip hop, R&B, dance and electronic, country, Christian, jazz, standards and classical, kids, sports, MLB play-by-play, -play, NBA play-by-play, -play, college play-by-play, -play, sports play-by-play, -play, comedy, entertainment, and finally, all channels. To find out what's currently playing in any category, arrow to the category that you want, then arrow up or down to where it says scan category. In this case, it's scan comedy, and you press the select button. After you selected Scan Comedy, the radio will begin to play each channel one at a time for just a little while. Then it will go to the next channel and play. And then it'll go to the next channel and play. And if you hear a channel that you want to listen to, simply select that channel by pressing the button in the middle. To input a channel directly, first you press the direct key down on the lower right hand side, then enter the channel that you want, in this case channel 10. The radio will tune to channel 10. To try it again, press the direct key, then we'll choose channel 148. The radio tunes to channel 148. Next, we'll look at presets. First thing you want to do is go to the channel you want to set a preset for. In this case, we'll preset for channel 27. All you have to do to do a preset is press and hold a number that you want a preset for, in this case, number 1. Now, number 1 is preset to channel 27. We'll preset another one, channel 148. Press and hold down number 2, and the preset is set. Now, if we already have a preset set in the channel, we'll try this. We're going to go to channel 26 and I'll press and hold number 3. There's already something in number 3, so all we have to do is to hit select and we've replaced our preset. Let's try that again. We'll go to do another channel, channel 70, preset to number 4. There's already something in number four, so we'll select it, and we've replaced what's in number four. We'll do another preset, channel one, 27. We'll press and hold, preset five, and now channel 127 is going to be the preset for number five. 
Now, if we want to do a preset from something in a category, all this is is just a different way of selecting a channel that we're going to preset. We want this channel. That's channel 118. Press and hold 6. And channel 118 is now in the presets. Now let's take a look at the jump feature. The jump feature can take you back to the last station that was in tune. So we go from 118 to 127. Now we can set the jump feature to go to from the station you're listening to to local traffic and weather, which could come in helpful. Just select mode, and now we're in traffic and weather. Arrow down, select, and we come up with a list of locations. Arrow down to the location that suits you. Press select, and now we're in the traffic and weather mode. We'll go back, press menu. The last station it was picked was 118. Now when we go to jump, we're looking at the New York weather. Then press jump again, we're back to 118. Now if we want to get out of weather, press back to jump, and then select mode, and we're back to last channel. Now to show that that's working, what we're going to do is to touch one of our pre-selects so we don't go back to traffic and weather. Now we're in channel 70, jump to 118, jump again to 70. Let's look at screen adjustments. We'll uh, see how to adjust the brightness of your display. Go to menu, arrow down to brightness, select brightness, then you arrow right or left to adjust the brightness. I had the brightness all the way up, so I'm adjusting down to the left. When I get it how I want it, I select. Now we can change the color. Arrow down to color. Use the right or left keys to pick which color you want. In this case, we'll pick red. Select. And now our display is red. Eh, maybe I don't like red so much. So we'll go back to the menu arrow down to color, select color, right or left arrow to the color that we want, yellow, no, let's try orange, okay, select orange. Now our display is orange. We'll go back to the menu and we're back on the radio display. And we go back to our presets, channel 3, channel 2, and they're all still there. Finally, we'll adjust our volume coming out of the XM to your radio. Now, this adjusts separately from your volume control. Just go down to volume, arrow right or left to control how much volume comes out of the XM radio to whatever radio you're playing out of, car or whatever, and that turns up or down the volume. So we're going to turn off the radio by pressing the... Uh, the power key in the upper right hand corner. If you find this video to be helpful, please hit the subscribe button right here. Thank you.